Pence is coming out saying he's the vice president, but he will be the president because Donald Trump is going to be president only for a little while. Remember, only for a little while will Trump be president. Hillary has called Donald Trump and conceded the election. Now Pence is going to say something. But he will be the president because Trump will only be for a little while. See, this is live. This is funny, but this is God's doing. And it says he God put it in their hearts to accomplish his purpose, the Pharaoh. So only for a little while, Hillary Clinton has called Donald Trump to the to concede the 45th president for a little while. Go to greatestonecommand.com. I didn't vote for him, but I'm not upset. A call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. And I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard fought campaign. I mean, she. Hey, she well, hard. what the heck? <laughs> It's late. I stayed up to watch Donald Trump is now the president, like I said he would be, since 2000, since Bush. Well, I don't mean specifically Trump, but I knew when I saw Bush, I came to the realization that they were going to be Republicans. So I knew the last one has to be, the seventh one has to be a Republican. And the way Trump talked about immigration and the way Bush talked about patriotism it made me realize they're the same thing you know about the mark on the right hand and swearing and the oath and all that and stiff neck you know so that's how i came to the understanding uh when trump started talking his rhetoric that he was going to be the seventh king that's being honest like i said he is the seventh king but for a little while the little while could be that they retab the, uh, the the votes and he's really not the president. That could be a little while. Uh, could be a few months. But I don't think he's going to finish his term. That's what I've been saying. And what you have to worry about is what's next. That's the end of chapter 17. He's the seventh king. But the next chapter is really bad. Chapter 18 talks about radiation. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen next. He lasts for a little while. The second thing, what's going to happen next is uh, the battle between those who worship the book, the writing, writings, versus those who are for truly for Jesus. For example, if Jesus says, "Do not, you know, look at a woman," you know, then the women should not dress themselves the way they dress to entice the men. And the reason they do is do that is because you don't tell them to dress decent. You tell them, well, do not commit adultery. I haven't committed adultery, but you can commit adultery with your mind. So you have to dress. This is what it means to go with Jesus and not the Ten Commandments. Jesus is, is our rest. Forget a 24-hour period, Saturday, Sunday, or, or Friday. We rest in Christ, he said, and remember me. We turned our backs on the sacred command 2,000 years ago and we went for the God of money. And God gave us 2,000 years to find out that's the wrong way to go. Now, his cup is full and God's making this move now. He's going to transform this world, beginning with the United States. And finally, as we enter chapter 18 of Revelation, the really bad thing, the destruction of New York City, or shall we say Wall Street. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a big thing. I hope not, I hope it's just a dirty bomb. Maybe a meteorite, 
as I've been saying, but that monetary system, which is against Christ, uh, will be removed by God. Okay? Because we have to turn from that God and come back to Jesus and his greatest one command. Greatestonecommand.com is the solution.